Electric scooters are gaining in popularity. Time to take a closer look at them with the help of the German Automobile Club. We've selected seven models costing from 1,600 to 3,700 euros. Our seven mopeds include five two-seaters and two single-seaters. They all have a maximum speed of 45 kilometers an hour, and their range varies between 40 and 100 kilometers. Stefan Gobmeier, who's conducting the test, says the main criteria is the electric engine. Comfort, safety, ease of use, handling, and cost will also be considered. First up, engine performance. Sandbags are used to simulate the weight of the driver. The accelerator is fixed to keep the engine running. The tests reveal big differences in acceleration and range. The two single-seaters can't keep up. They also fare worse in the brake test. Poor engine performance means the single-seaters struggle on hills. As a rule of thumb, the bigger the engine, the more expensive the moped. None of the scooters tested scored top marks. Stefan Grappmeier says the results show room for improvement, in some cases a little, in others a lot. Quality, range and features could be better. The scooter that came out on top was the Esprit Silencio. It performed well in both range and average speed. So it scored best in the main test category. Turning to the two single-seaters, he says the L-Bike 01-2010 didn't impress. It had clear deficits over the other scooters, especially its range and engine. It also struggled on hills, and that's why it was given a lower score. Each of the scooters has a different battery system. Its capacity is impaired by low temperatures, and performance suffers as a result. In Germany, drivers must wear a helmet and be insured. They also have to bear in mind that electric scooters are virtually silent and aren't always noticed by pedestrians and other motorists. Stefan Grappmeier says there is a lot of room for improvement in terms of range. He'd like a display telling the driver how far they can still go. And he says some of the bikes took 12 hours to get a full charge, which is far too long.